Good afternoon. It's hot. The wind is blowing and I just decided I gotta sit down. I just lost my breath and I just can't breathe anymore. Yep, I felt pretty good this morning and I was a smiling. But the harsh reality has set in. I'm tired and I just can't keep going on like this. You see, if you're going to homestead, you got to do it when you're young. And you need to do it when you got a partner that is as gung-ho about homesteading as you are because it's very difficult. Yes, I got a fence that needs building. I got a bunch of stuff that needs doing. But I don't have the strength. I remember being in several of those, uh, what do they call it, live feeds. I don't have enough subscribers for a live feed, but anyhow, I've been in those live feeds, these prepping people. Yeah. There's the bear, and uh, that was the first one I ever heard. He talked about having a Mutual assistance group, and that old people have value. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> then you find out, well, they really don't believe you have any value. They mean just their own grandmothers and their own feeble people. Well, then I found another one closer to home. That's old uh, Prepper Rabbit. Well, in that live feed, I heard some men say, or a man, um, let's see, choo-choo rooter bean. <laughs> he said, you know, we need to have a group so that we can help people like Granny Moreno and some of these other people that need help. <laughs> okay, where are they today? When I fell down and stumbled over the roots in the ground, and <sighs> basically just come to the realization that Granny's just going to have to give it up. <laughs> you know what would be nice? It seems like it would be nice if some of you young people that would like to learn about homesteading, if you wanted to come and help out a day or two or even a month, get your feet wet and learn what homesteading is really about, hey, I got a place you can park your travel trailer. I got a place you can put your tent. You know, just let me know. Come see, come see how homesteading and living off grid would really work for you. Who knows? Well, all I know is that without a pen for my chickens, place to keep my dogs safe, when they're outside, not much else I can do. Well, old Trevor Jonah talks a good good line. <laughs> but when you're young and you got youth on your side, you can do it. Then I've met several other people that are, call themselves mindful of elderly people like myself. Why, well, they'd be here in a minute if I called them. I wonder, <laughs> would they really? Well, I can just tell you right now, I'm tired. And I'm worn out. I've been picking up tools out of the yard that the DH left. He just left them thrown down. Never finished anything he ever started. We've been here over a year and no fences up yet. We got the T post. We got the wire, but a lot of times a DH is about as worthless as a tits on a boar hog, you know what I mean? Some of you city folks don't understand that. I had a dream. And I'm going to give up on my dream. Hey. Contact me, leave me a note in the comments if you're interested in maybe finding out what real homesteading is like. 
Come try it out for a weekend. Have a good day. Because I don't know how much longer I can handle this.